play as well. In which case, their team fight is actually much stronger. Oops, a daisy. Posing for the audience, and he's rewarded <laughs> with Jack. Shove it back out and keep control. Rolling the hex stringer again into the double AP from Fnatic. We often see it when you have a lane against an AP champion. That's why you want it for this early game power. Instead of Fischio, what do you think they'll have to change to brave the elements in this matchup? You really liked that one, did you? Yeah, I did. Prepared before and everything. Uh, oh, for Cobra. Very good mechanics, of course, by team um, impact. Impulse. Darn it. I pulled the jab. Did it. Uh, you did, did it. Impul <laughs> <laughs> Jet, I hate you so much. Literally, during You've the game. Me. During the game. I was like, I've never done that. I've never said team impact. <laughs> so Fnatic right now is actually expecting the bottom end from Rocket to be on the bottom side. And that's why they give this grumble over to Huni. So he gets a level two for himself. And then he can teleport down to the bottom. Oh. Whoa! That just happened. Oh! Freeze is getting all the damage down into Hyanan. Monsoon's gonna keep them alive for the time being, and Freeze, thinking about the dive, decides against it. Copenhagen Wolves stamping their thoughts. That was a flash. Yeah. Hoppa! You don't have an unlimited use of that spell, my friend. And nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Come on, come on. Nobody saw Misclick, misclick, guys. <laughs> Bit of a misclick here. She's nodding, yes, that's a good thing. That's, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, she's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, right? Mm -hmm. and I mean, I love that it, this, is, this can happen in a place. Like, you see this kind of stuff in MLB stadiums, NFL stadiums, and now you're seeing them take place on League of Legends. Yeah, I saw it actually at Worlds, too. This is not our first. We've had a exactly. couple this is not of, our we've first. actually had a couple of proposals before. I was really pleasantly surprised by how well he was able to handle that, the lane swap as well. So glad that there's more champions in this pool than Aurelia. <laughs> I mean, everyone can play now. Everyone should be able to play now. Yeah, when they left it in open, Unicorns made a really big mistake there, it seemed. It wasn't the only key to their victory, but just overall, elements really seemed like they knew what they were doing a lot more, and that's the experience factor coming into play here. So, you know, the up-and-comers, they got knocked down a couple pegs. They did. They did. Still, for Unicorns, a lot here. Obviously, going back, going to go back and look at the game and say, okay, maybe we need a bit more pressure in this mid-game instead of picking the Oriana into the Kassadin. Um Rest of the game for them, I mean, they were constantly on the back foot, just trying to fight. Elements were ready for it. Looks like a very standard controlled Elements game where they don't get surprised, don't get really pulled out of the comfort zone and just slowly control it. And obviously in the very end here, the base race mm -hmm. after 1v5 from Frog and well, King. Absolutely. I mean, really, you can't go base race against a team that's already that far ahead on you as well. So that was it. That was GG. Now we're going to check in one stage where Quickshot is now standing by with a member of the Victorious. In making in game, final question. Iterated in an interview said that he, you were the best AD carry he ever played with. That's saying a lot, knowing that he played with the likes of Reckless. Um, do you feel right now that you have the most skill in, in all the bottom lanes? By far. By far. <laughs> So um, in the pre-game video, you said that there used to be a lot of handsome players in Fnatic. You mentioned uh, Reckless and x uh, Is there any particular reason you didn't mention me? I mentioned you. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I oh. mentioned. I think I mentioned you first. Oh, so then, <laughs> Thank you. And then I, I approve. <laughs> Very handsome. Oh, one final question. Um, he wants to do himself now. He's being oh, greedy. Oh, oh. oh. oops. <laughs> no. As unmolested as possible in the early game. Yeah, they really want to get the Jax going, so he can actually become a split push force and... Whoa! Oh. Executed! The thing is, he did this last time he played... Okay, so you picked Olaf when Lee Sin was open. Are you carrying on the proud tradition of Fnatic junglers sucking as Lee Sin? Or uh, <laughs> do you think Olaf is a stronger pick? Uh, it's matchup coming in here. They take down gravity. <laughs> over and Fnatic have done it. They're gonna push the minions in and just like that, Renot Re Renotic, <laughs> Rocket are destroyed. Do you going up against the biker gang? <laughs> really a band out first. She will not be on the table. So top lane focus already. Rek'Sai, again, we're still on uh, the original patch that we started on with the LCS. We have not switched over. Oh! You know what, Aurelia is this way Two too strong. Two Aurelia's. <laughs> two, Shen, two Shen's meta is out. Morello is in the audience today. And 
He decided nerf back. No, really, that second ban is actually Annie, by yeah. the way. Uh, for this, there's obviously a bug on stream, but the second ban there for Gravity is Annie taking out that from Kiwi Kid. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, one of his big playmaking supports. Oh, you 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 knew it was coming. It's so right? good. You knew it was coming. It's so good. Since they did lose, Skara is Devin Nash or right. Malixia, as other people may know him. He was actually Dignitas's life coach back in 2014, mm -hmm. and. Looks like he's taking over the pick band notebook duties yep. at the moment. That's something that, you know, Kobe said was also one of the bridges that a coach has to cross is being, you know, have that relationship with the players. And being the live coach is something you quite intertwined with the life of the players you are around. So I'm sure he's already got... <laughs> For once. Yeah, so it's, I don't know, just playing together, communicating like a lot more. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Apollo. Congratulations on the win. And let's send it back to the guys at the analyst desk. You know, expectations, I, there, there's a lot of things that are different about this split compared to last split. Uh, last split, we kind of had a group of players that didn't really, sorry, my HTC phone is ringing. <laughs> well, that's, sometimes it happens. Maybe you turn on phone. We can move on, we can move on. Get the assist, well played. Okay, Gravity, they're making a counterplay here. It's gonna happen. Mid bottom. This is definitely St. Vicious' call. Okay, everybody, there's too many people staying behind Baron. Saint should actually swing around to the other side. Those back spikes do a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, St. And he's gonna die from it. Oh. He died. <laughs> he did get hit that, from Link's ulti, though. That attack goes farther than the den. It attacks outside and behind it. Very painful. On Twitter today and ask amazing. Be sure to tweet at LOL Esports and use that hashtag ask amazing. And that's just silly because everyone knows what the best Nunu skin is. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, but for now, we're going to look at our first match of the day. So Team Liquid, not going to make the same mistake twice. This time, Scrying Orb on it. I think I know why Scrying Orb is blue. Because when it goes over the entire enemy team, it's like their tears that they got spotted. It even it's even called crying orb. <laughs> stayed together. Well, yeah, any team could consider yeah. that one guy stayed, right? Um, yeah. Yes. It, it pulls... is just on a new Copenhagen wall. <laughs> it's like by him to do so so far. Otherwise, pushing in. Shari Cells still grabbing his farm pretty nicely, but Impulse going for a quick push on this one. Janna and Jinx are top lane. Sends the rocket out for a bit of scouting and maybe some damage. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! He got no! it! That almost never works. Well, that just happened. For them, but still, yeah, a little relieving after what was a very, very rough first two weeks, but all smiles now. We play a bit better strategically now. Uh, we didn't really care at all about wave control or shit like this before we started. We were just screaming and trying to fight and shit. I wasn't working. All right, Porpoise, final question. You guys have Team Liquid next week. How are you feeling about that matchup? Uh, feeling pretty good about that matchup. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be very difficult, I think. I think they're a really good team. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to wreck them. <laughs> <laughs> Some fancy words from the crowd. He agrees. Oh! 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 <laughs> Honestly, yeah. caught a lot of us off guard, I think. Yeah. <laughs> was the big thing. Hey, man, especially Rip. Rip, 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 Rip especially was, was caught off guard. The coordination they had there, you know, they all speak English in their chat, in their comms, but they just sent down all the ultimates speaking the same language there. Yeah, they were spoken pirate. R for all of them. Nope. <laughs> nope. That was... <laughs> You're darn that right. Was <laughs> and your number of... <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Okay. From the laning phase, from the ganks, even from the doubts of Rengar not having assistance, you know, other teams have not pulled it off. Elements did. That is the best, the best play we've seen from them individually. <laughs> I love it. Uh, seems to be starting because the talent has risen. The same kind of plays for Airbox. He did really f well in the in the summer split, in my opinion. Put damage down, but it's a two for one trade. Not over yet as Diamond continues to look for targets. Teleport comes up from Cabo. Play your game, give your input here and there. Cause Sing does communicate well from having like I've only had a, fuck, uh, a couple of uh, <laughs> laps there. From SK, mid lane was doing just fine on his own as well. Sven has been able to put all his focus on Forgiven and his bottom lane. And he can also flash the grump. All right, I'm calling in for some backup. Freak, 
Where you at? Sorry, Rev Freak is not here. Call me Earthquake today, because I'm after shocks. But speaking of Twitter, last week we started a death watch and asked you guys to predict when. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to let you finish in a moment. Um, you know, our boy here can answer great questions later. But I've actually got a hashtag Ask Crepo question of my own. And Crepo, I know you're single. I know you're looking for love. Will it you? Is. Will you be my Valentine? Of course I would, quick shot. Oh. <laughs> there you have it. Once he's done talking with the team, we'll get a report later if it was a limp fish or not. Oh man. Oh. He's gonna wait around for it. Oh no, no. <laughs> Skara. You had one job, Skara. That's all you Skara, had. Skara, come do. on! <laughs> he's waiting for you. He's gonna he's gonna call him back out. Skara, all right. the noob coach. <laughs> there we go. There we go. He even adds a little bow. Against Bjergsen tomorrow. How are you feeling against that matchup versus Team Solo Mid? Uh, I think right now Bjergsen is probably the best mid laner in NA right now. So I think tomorrow is going to be a huge challenge, but I think it's going to be a really fun match. So I think anyone who's going to be looking forward, forward to that TSM CLG rivalry, it's going to be really close because not only do we like go 50-50 in like scrims, I think, or TSM is easily like the hardest opponent that we've ever played versus. So it's going to be fun. Chill out. All right, boys, if we win today, everyone gets a girlfriend. <clears throat> wow. All five of you. I've always wanted a girlfriend. One brand new girlfriend. We'll hit our skill shots on her and make her irrelevant. It, it was so strange because we have seen... Whoops, did not have another one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, Dash. Hello, everyone. I am Riven Kavisna III, and slowly sneaking his stuff onto my side of the desk <laughs> is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler, so you now lose this. Yeah. That was cold! And I, no, not kidding, I believe. And then we're just trying to kill whoever is like close. We want to fight uh, to our advantages. Like as long as the fight go, we win the game because Kalista is just stacking the rent and we just clean up here. We oh no, we're not continuing the replay. <laughs> now, Bjergs is gonna go deal with him. Everybody else is going to push the mid lane right now. Whoa! <laughs> Juke! Oh hey! The to talk to Eddie. Thank you very much, Quick Shot. Now I am standing here with the big Eddie himself. First of all, congratulations. Who need, who need, who need. They are a crazy boy. What? They are crazy boys. What? All my fans! All crazy boys. Oh my god! You 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 must shut up. <laughs> and on the red side, it's Team Coast. Chris in the top lane, Impaler in the jungle, Man Cloud in the mid lane, Mash on AD carry, and Sheep on support. YOLO indeed for that guy though. He's going hard. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing, apparently. <sighs> But it's ever so slowly. So dragon for maybe a top turret here. But gravity doing nice. And this is just such. Oh, oh. Well, that was that was just a very a poor mistake. Oh. You let it really. Hello. <laughs> Cal, uh, Cali jumping in. All right, they're gonna take it away. It's like off of the fog of war. We didn't see the nar. He's a bruiser that needs time to tick you down and chunk you down over time. So the big problem there was that. Going into the pick and ban phase, and let's just take a look at, of course, SK Gaming here. Three new champions, Azir coming in for Freddy. It's been his main champion. It's the second kill for the jungler. Four, uh, sorry, 2-0-2 two, two for Porpoise. And now Chris gets spotted. By the way, Slushy is fed if you didn't know. Krugs? Oh my god, oh. yes. <laughs> the most stylish kill I've seen in the NALCS goes to Slushy. Yeah, literally. Oh, yeah. Uh, plenty of jargon, Jarvan Flash knockups. What gives you the confidence to come out and play that way? Because we don't see that with every new player on this stage. Because it's easy. Because, <laughs> all right. Oh my god. Oh, there he is, just laying <laughs> it out, laying yeah. it out for you. Holy. I do want to jump into this in the jungle. Keen in mid, cop on AD carry, and Bunny Fufu on support. And on the red side, it's Team Liquid up top, Quas in the jungle. I will. Seems to come your way when we come back. Dignitas will take on Counter Logic Gaming. Don't go anywhere. Oh, and uh, Joel, get on Skype. Hopefully. We will indeed see. And uh, last question for you now How is the weather up there? Some good bursts. They've got themselves some poke if they want it in the form of Diamond Prox's Nidalee. So, Ezreal mid here, we have seen it today already from Nuke Duck, and we have seen... Welcome back everyone to week five of the NALCS. Now, earlier in the broadcast, we asked, who is your midseason MVP, uh, MVP and why? 
Uh, there's been a lot of love for gra cops grab. Close. Can I just take a moment? I'm going to take a moment. <laughs>
And that will be a level 3 Vi. Alright, with so an Dominate, enemy buff. Dominate operating on the huh. assumption that Rush started at his own red. There was what nothing on this jungle. There was a cackle from the audience. <laughs> You've been had, Jarvan. And we'll see. Ah! 80 damage. Yeah. <laughs> shall we shall the victor. Game's over. He got 10 gamer points for doing the first point of damage in the game. Play on the rift. Really? <laughs> you know, like it's, I, it's flex zone time. I, I, I'm wearing this shirt, man. It doesn't show off my abs. I have to. Oh my god. If I tuck it in they the back. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't it's, mean. I didn't mean literally. I just meant. But I am, especially with jungle Nidalee uh, and Lissandra, as powerful as she is right now. Ward battles. Time and again, we're seeing pink cord trader for green ward, and Lust Boy just replaces it. It's like, yeah, okay. Let's play against I'm David Freak Chirling. With me for our last two matches is today's expert, Joshua Jat Leesman. Thank you very much, Freak. We have some quality games to finish the day as well. I'm honestly feeling like Tip versus Cloud9 is the game of the day. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. It's going to be our next match, in fact. Team Impulse versus Cloud9 as Jat. A game of what if it was my award? They were placing a lot of wards all across the map, and the one time that Shifter's standing on the one is they didn't see place, the one they didn't clear out, right? That's what you wait for the entire the one they didn't clear out. More of Expeke Amazing with the rest of the Origin Squad, by the way. Go ahead and check out the European Challenger Series every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central European time. That is 10 a.m. Pacific. And as always, find the full schedule at LOL Esports. So it's just like, as long as we don't, Suffered like a huge skill loss in the last couple weeks, then should be fine. Um, even though our team fighting can be kind of poor against the top teams, it's, uh, I guess, sufficient against lower teams. So we weren't worried at all. No. themselves up at Unicorns. They're well, looking for an engage. Vizachachi is coming. In fact, he flashes over the wall. He's managed to catch Shook. Kickis runs into a wall. That's not what you want. Not like that for hey. me. You want some water? <laughs> Very tough. Their first game versus CJ Ents is also not a not a uh, easy cookie to. I, I don't. Yeah, yeah, it's a. I have no idea. Well, now that we're officially sure. in the. Baylife. <laughs> well, you've heard it here. Baylife from Dublin. Thanks very much for the interview. Congratulations on the 2 0. See you in a couple weeks and see you guys at the desk. Golden Age. <laughs> he Golden got it age. in. He got it in. Golden he Age. Did it. Made it. Success. Last ten turns, baby. True form. Mm. In screams, we don't give a fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Give a luck. Yeah, yeah I give a. <laughs> yeah, but. Yes. Uh... And they secured. Now they've got to look to winning something internationally. Yes. Fairly strong fashion. Both Cloud9 and TSM. The people demand answers. What shampoo and conditioner do you use to maintain your fabulous hair? I don't use conditioner. Oh, damn. Well, I, only, I only use uh, the tears of my challenger enemies right now. <laughs> is that you have really high base damage, and I if you don't fall off in levels, like behind in levels. Nice fans, by the way. Everyone is Hunis fans. Whatever, I'm not. Only for Hunis. We should, we should re rename the team to Hunis instead of Fanatic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the last team fight here. He, actually, he died like instantly. Yes. And yet they won because they were so far ahead. Yeah, Overpower just ended up tanking for. Uh, the fans hype up outside, getting ready to take their. And that's Vista Chachi. So we'll see what Unicorns of Love decide to lock in. This is an incredibly important game for both of these teams. Rock out. No music, music for you guys. Four, and you broke it. This is, this I did. is your fault. This is your fault, Officio. Um, Rock out. On a tad. 40 second timers on the clock. This could be the it. Nexus turret if Meteos can't do anything. Oh my god. Oh, he's laughing at him. Slushy the with the mana right. Mid lane ganks, especially Cassiopeia that's facing Lissandra. <laughs> we can set those up. <laughs> I think uh, 12 more could be the <laughs> <laughs> 8th War Cloud 9. They put them, turn them on their head and steal their lunch money, as Kobe would say. Team 8 takes down Cloud 9. Maple Street, the American. It's around it. Very green. You can see how Kick is now saying, OK, I'm going to. I don't even know why I'm here at this <laughs> desk or there, <laughs> because uh, 
I just got shafted all game. But anyways, uh, spikes. Yeah, indeed, we will see. Dent is good friends with you, good friends with Leviathan, good friends with everybody. He's just Dent being a spy, man. Dent is just friendly yeah. overall. Too. Or he's just trying to get all the info. Uh, personally, I hate dentists. Okay. <laughs> Into the base they go. Double kill for Phoenix. Oh! The back lines. Actually gets the kill on the match. The heals might not be enough. They don't go for him, actually. No, it's three men alive. An ace for the team. The Triple kill for Phoenix. Oh, no! The turret the MVP! The Piglet <laughs> takes him down. But Phoenix and Quad. Hit them. Yeah. I mean, you can't. That's that's just a, a speeding, a speedy, speedy game from them. And smiles all around. They deserve it. That is the type of play that everyone wants to see out of Fnatic. Oh, yeah. Oh, but actually, we don't like them. Like, have you ever seen a unicorn and a wolf in natural habit not fighting each other? I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also been feeding a bit of extra farm on Avex or on so on, but now Avex is in the top lane for Vizichachi. Yep, Vizichachi is going to get knocked, but it's going to be a unlimited taking a lot of tower shots as he has to back away. A teleport onto the same tower is canceled. Hi right, guys, let's get our game face on. Game face. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But your audio so is low. absolutely terrible. On the it's right. better now. On the right. <laughs> like, I headed. Uh... You guys can't hear me or? Oh my god! Oh my god. We can. <laughs> I said yes. Still. So it's a great start for Unicorns, and they have all the right tools here to do well. There's a flashing gate. Yep, they find the Tibbers. That's unlimited going down. Power of Evil unleashes the power. Teleport coming in after the fact. Here comes Airwalks. Dodge by Power oh, of Evil. Flash oh, the wall. he's going to be in some trouble after. Everybody's been having these. But the last couple weeks, <laughs> I even have had these types of issues. Quas taking a nap. We do see Pippa and Aaron are running low on matter. And Sven and Fox unable to make a kill, but oh, super mega oh. death! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Gold card out on Audrey throws out some wild cards as well. The heal has popped the calling as well. Overpow tanking a lot of it on the back side, and he could be in some trouble as Whirler with the teleport coming in. Overpow, he's gonna go down. Oh, the oh. flash! No, that's not what you want. Game, is that true? Yeah, I actually thought that was hilarious. I did more damage to champions than he did, and I was like, uh, I'm playing Scion. That's like the type of champion where it's like, oh, he's a full tank, he does no damage. But no, I actually did more. Rather freezing out. Wow, you see Cabo Shard making his way down to the bottom. Edward actually, though, causing Shook some... Punch their tickets to the spring playoffs. And now we can hand it over. Ah, what a game, what a game. Definitely what a game. Full mid lane item, Luden's Echo, which uh, is yeah. honestly pretty good on Syndra because she moves around, she's Oh, you touch my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Guys, go wherever they want. There they go. Oh, well, they choose to go mid lane, jump on in. They catch Shifter, who he dashes over the second queue. But here comes Zion on the juke back. He's going to throw oh, no. the queue. Shifter oh, with oh, the outplay. Oh. He's going to get away from Zion Spartan. Yes, he does. The minion throw. The flash queue. First blood, Zion Spartan. Oh. 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 I've been doing now to set up the bottom lane. Minion wave. You can see how they're slowly pushing up. And then you just start grouping because the unicorns are not exactly running any way of pro well oh, never mind that because he's getting jumped helisang is in trouble he's down but where is power of evil down to 50 percent hp omen of death not been used yet as huni is out in the background power of evil no power of evil chachi was is out that of game? position steel back and fanatic have found four kick us in full retreat a one for four trade and a baron buff minion fanatic beyond the inhibitor turret they're pushing through Minions are coming here. You can see they're pinging them on the minimap. They got the Baron still trying to push in. It's just a lonely Nunu trying to defend. Is it enough? Can Kiki scare them away? Fnatic, they uh, waited. They've got minions. I don't know if it's enough. 15 seconds before Chachi is up. Vardex getting closer. Kikis is trying to pull attention, but it's not enough. The saber. The Hillis Hillis is down. Hillisang's in place. He needs to have a magic, magic stun, but he's not going to because he's in trouble. Featherman continues to focus the turret. Hillisang is down. The Nexus turret is down. They're onto the Nexus. Fnatic look like they're stunned at 33 minutes. Fnatic are taking down the unicorns of love. No! A few more hits. No, no, no. What? What? I 
cannot understand this game. Unicorns of love. It wasn't you then. Hillisang got in there. Now what? they got him. So now another fight. Oh. Okay, Vardag's down. 5v4. There are supers to deal with in the middle lane. And Fnatic may want to use a numbers advantage. It's a couple of love taps. That's all Fnatic needs. Don't have XPK anymore, though, to backdoor that one, but they're going in again. Oh, that's a petrifying case. They've caught two. Power of Evil is down. That one was down, Will though. And Chachi are trying to get away. We do see the Omen of Death. What can Power of Evil do from beyond the grave? He's caught steel back. But that, that is the most number of kills we've seen in the spring split. 14 minutes quicker than before. Yellow Yellow's stop. the back door. I've seen this before. It happened at Worlds, and it didn't go in Fnatic's favor. Will their fate be different? Nexus is going the down. Who is TP? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's what Fnatic are cheering. We see Raynovis down. Who is it's it's happened again. Deficio, it's happened again. Fnatic are not able to defend the Nexus. They've got supers barreling down the mid lane. What can the super minions do? Can that super minion? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Unicorns of Love continuing the siege. They are unrelenting. There is one Nexus turret standing, and the Unicorns say we will have it. Oh, it's Fnatic caught out. Feverv is in trouble. We see that uh, Kikis is dropped as he was channeling his absolute zero. Dredge line knocks up multiple people, but Chachi forced to use that omen of death on himself. They got one. Double kill for Steelback. What can Feverv and his Steelback do? Vardax and Power of Evil alive. They do see the dredge line connects with Hillisack. Look at the carries. They're both rooted in place. Hourglass keeps Huni alive as we Yellow Star taken out. This is a two, three versus three in the base. Everybody is down. It is all still back and Hooney now. Back and Hooney. The Nexus is standing. Steelback has got Hillisung. He's critting massively onto Vardags. But Vardags and Power of Evil, they are pushing with the minions. Hooney on full HP. Deficio, will they go in? Glacial Path. We do see the shard connect, but look at the auto attacks. Power of Evil's got him. Can Power of Evil turn around? Can he get Vardax? From Steelback. He can't Vardax find Vardax. Steelback is looking for Power of Evil. You're going to die it. Unicorn to beat Fnatic! Something I have to ask you about though is last year Cloud9 was impenetrable when they had a gold lead and this uh, A little bit scarier, I mean we were scared more than usual because it was like a, a most important game ever. We were pretty scared of fucking up. We didn't want to lose. Can do well, but because Chachi was forced so low so early, he was unable to really clean up more. Despite getting that last little hit, and Vardex with a very aggressive flash in. What was he trying to do? I think he went the wrong direction there. That uh, I think so. looked a bit odd. Or without running straight into a zap. No, he's been protecting his carry quite well this game. Oh, he However, he's got the there's stun. the flash, there is the stun. Eddie flashes out, but he can't escape the bug shot. And Vardak. Every along, I go nyap, 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 nyap. When, yeah, I, when, I, when, I, when I eat every, every creep, every oot. Yeah, you shit, know? yeah. shit. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, any openings to punish them for overstaying their welcome. But they do grab inhibitor number one in the middle. They've got a few deep wards out now. And they're definitely playing with a little bit more confidence to be able to clear away the skull crap. Unfortunately, no it's not one a wave saw that. that. No, but come on. Don't clap right. that. All right. All right. Into as many victories as he would have liked. Yeah, that's fairly true here. They're definitely on comfortable champions for themselves. Froggen on LeBlanc, Shook on Lee Sin. Panero is relaxing on this one. Having to move out, and it was a very, very messy little fight. Oh, Let's see what the, the rocket, rocket can do. Nope. Oh, oh hello, oh, Fitz Oh, my God. Goodbye. I was like, nope, that's not going to hit. And then, and the Kings rocket. The top. We'll see what happens with the rocket. See if he can get Sven. He can spot oh, he's going to go. launch it. Oh. And it's dodged out. Sven learned his lesson. That once, at least. Oh, Corey. Oh, well, but did, Corey's here. Did he now, Pirate? Did he learn that lesson? He learned how to dodge Jinx rockets, but maybe not. Probably doesn't either. You see him shaking hands there with Daler as we get ready to load up. It's just going to be a pretty explosive game. That second turret. So two towers roughly equals five kills. Today also, obviously, a bit, oh. of a, bit of a small uh, fun. And quickly towards bottom here. I wonder if they're actually baiting Gamsu. That's a bait. Quas, rather, into this one. Perfectly done. Quas flies through like he's blindly running into the situation. But it was the bait that's going to get the first blood onto Core JJ. Wow. <laughs>
The timing was Fox are jockeying for Absolutely. position at the bottom of the standings and a great. Rumble ultimate in one of the chokes, and we'll take a look at St. Vicious's positioning. It looks like they're going to try and force it here, get the consume smite combo off. St. should be able to secure this one. Should. Oh, no! Oh, Dragon goes over to Cloud9, Meteos! Um, but it will be versus the Copenhagen Wolves. How do you feel that transition is going to go as my uh, accessory drops onto the floor versus the... Sir, and by the way, I couldn't find my toothbrush, so I used yours last night. Thank you. I bought two. So you guys, yeah, I used your, uh, used your new one. I okay. couldn't find the old one. Come, 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 back here. Come, 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 come. And uh, Aerox, thank you for letting me borrow your shaver. That's not true. I go nyam, 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 nyam. This becomes a variable tank the later on in the game, so this is nice and flexible for them. Yeah. But it's still risky. It's oh, 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 there's some love. <laughs>